And on this third night of the finals here at the Olympic pool, it is by far the biggest challenge for 17-year-old Missy Franklin of the United States. A semi and a final within 10 minutes of one another. But these are the Olympics, and this is what she and her parents have been dreaming about and talking about ever since she was a very little girl. It's October of 1995 in Centennial, Colorado. D.A. Franklin takes her five-month-old daughter, Missy, to a local pool for her first baby swim lesson. First thing we had to do with the baby was to take her and go under the water together and back up. So we went under, and there was Missy. She kept her eyes open. She had a big grin on her face, and every other baby in the class was screaming. Go, Missy! All right! I just remember loving the water. I always had so much fun in it. No matter what I was doing, I could be anything in the water. I could do anything when I was in the water. And I could just let go and have fun and let my imagination run completely wild. <laughs> imagination is something that Missy Franklin has always had an ample supply. But even she couldn't have dreamed up her performance at the 2011 World Championships in Shanghai, just months after her 16th birthday. But Missy Franklin shatters the American record. I was so shocked, and I couldn't believe what I had done. She is Man. blowing away the field right now. To come away with five medals. In her anchor leg to win another gold. But alongside the hardware she's already earned and the potential for so much more, there are other parts of Missy Franklin's life she's proud of, like her new driver's license. Oh, look at this. You license. Get this guy. License <laughs> action. That is the most important <laughs> thing. And there are other things besides swimming she's happy to admit she loves like well Justin Bieber she's just a normal kid but it, it's been important for us just to keep her as a teenager who happens to have this special gift in swimming though for Franklin how normal she is is really abnormal when you consider she's turned down thousands in prize money and endorsements so she could maintain her eligibility and swim for her high school team there were very tangible corporate endorsement offers that we had to say no thanks to, but um, this is very much where she wants to be. The decision to remain in Colorado with longtime coach Todd Schmitz, who had never before trained an Olympian, led to questions about whether the Franklins were doing enough to foster their daughter's talent. People were going up to my parents like, why are you still here? I mean, this is not exactly a big swimming state. Why don't you go to California or Florida? And my parents and I automatically were thinking, well, if it's not broke, why fix it? My best friends are here. My coach for almost 10 years is here. My teams are here. My school is here. Like, if I really did move away, I don't think I would do well because I wouldn't be happy. Maybe it's extraordinary. Maybe it's simply the new normal. But whatever Missy Franklin is doing, it looks like she's just getting started. I know that whatever I do, if I just have faith in my friends and my family and just do the things that make me happy, then hopefully my life will turn out <laughs> okay. And Missy always seemingly smiling. She'll turn on that game face right before she swims, but she says, I want to remember what it was like when I was a five-year-old on that summer club swim team that loved going out with my friends, playing cards in the tent before swims. And she's got a couple of huge races tonight. And her parents, with a little better vantage point tonight, they've moved down closer to the pool some 30 rows. Maybe that's what a first Olympic medal will get you. So the parents of Missy Franklin will see her first race coming right up.